So right about now, you might normally see the cheesy alarm going off, the guy gets out of bed, makes his coffee, right before diving into work. Well, for the sake of your time, I'm gonna skip that. And that's because I'm microwaving my second cup of coffee already. Now software engineers come in all different shapes and sizes. Some work at fang companies and work at big shiny offices with all the perks. Some work between hotels and airports, living in places like Bali, Thailand, you know, the nomad life. Well, for me, it may not be all shiny perks and palm beaches, however, it's pretty much exactly how I want it. So here's what a day in the life of an Ethereum quality assurance lead looks like, and because I'm in New Zealand, my day really starts at midnight. All right, so on a Monday, I'm running through all outstanding Asana tasks that the developers may have been working on. So that's reviewing code, reviewing features, assigning new tasks, maybe even improvements to current issues if necessary. And on Tuesday morning at 12.30 a.m., we have the first dev scrum meeting of the week. This is essentially where we're going through all existing tasks that everyone's working on, and I'll provide an update of features and outstanding tasks that need improvements, plus work alongside the product manager in ensuring all the work is planned out to get done by the given time frame. And now, it's time for bed. So since we're working in the fast-paced world of crypto, speed is everything. The crypto communities need features pushed yesterday, competitors are already working on the next standout feature, and it's super easy to get left behind if you're not all working in sync as a unit. At 7.30am we've got the senior leadership meeting, this normally runs for about 30 to 45 minutes and it's where we'll discuss overarching business movement, provide updates from marketing, QA side to the COO and project manager and chat about what's the priority for the week ahead. Now one of the perks about our team being fully remote is by the time I wake up there'll be a ton of new features and pull requests to review. So right after the senior leadership meeting, my Tuesday morning normally starts with me going through all tasks marked as complete by the devs, reviewing their pull requests and visual work, making suggestions and marking off acceptable completed tasks. This might include reviewing through a couple of smart contracts, ensuring the back end is talking to our front end correctly and testing through all features and that they're working as expected in our current development. Now normally once that's done, I'll make some tuna and rice, maybe even some more coffee, and refresh my headspace with a podcast. So right about now is when there's a changeover of devs, going to sleep, some others waking up, and there'll be a few more task reviews. By this time, I'll normally have a chat with the product manager and provide a quick summary report to the project manager. Right now, for a few hours into my afternoon, there's a little bit of a blackout period where many of the developers are asleep, some are awake, but this is a good time to take Hermie for a quick walk on the beach. Now as my role mainly entails leading the QA side of the development space, I'm responsible for ensuring that after every pull request merge, everything still works. So in a nutshell, it means I'm constantly testing. It's always a crazy game of cat and mouse, ensuring features work throughout the entire development process. Plus, keeping on top of existing products that our community are already using, such as our swaps, our bridging, our farms, our liquidity pools, ensuring that we're addressing urgent bug fixes as required. Normally by the afternoon I've got a good idea of what will be completed by when and I can then task outstanding tasks with updated completion dates and liaise with developers as they all start waking up again. Into my evening, if I'm waiting on developers to complete their tasks for my review and I'm staying up for the scrum meeting, maybe I'll try my landing skills at Geneva Airport in a small Cessna. Other than that, it's dinner time, maybe a little bit of Netflix, and right back to bed to start the next day again. Obviously the coolest part about my role is having the flexibility to build my own space, uh, work from home, and contribute to the exciting world of crypto and blockchain. I mean, there's so much going on in the space, and there's still so much more to come over the next few years. So I hope you enjoyed that day in the life video of a Ethereum quality assurance lead. And if you'd like to see more about remote development work and home office spaces, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. I'll see you guys next week.